Guys, we have a big-time tag team match coming up here. A big-time match with big-time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. Stampede Wrestling International Tag Team Lee Kimball Kobayashi on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 590 pounds. Lee and Kimball Kobayashi. Lee Kimball Kobayashi and their opponent at a combined weight of 575 pounds. They are the Logan and Victor, the Brothers of Destruction. 
This is all the makings of a legendary night. Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. That's how you wear down your opponent. <laughs> the challenger's taking on some offense. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Uh -oh. Out the harsh impact. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. There have been times in sports entertainment when big move coming. Wait for it. Is he done? going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh, he's got him up high. Going for the run. Shades of JBL with a fallaway slam. Technique. Comes up big with the reversal. Punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Enough already. What a stop. Good grief. Irish whip. In off the tag. Oh, man. Shot right in the midsection. Backbreaker. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The colossal clutch. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. 
in tag team action like in singles comp. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. This might be it. Oh, my. Tagged in. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Ooh, what impact. Now, when this guy's on, look at Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who've dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag. He might have it. Incredible impact. Victory is on the horizon. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. The ref's out. No good to come of this, Michael. Oh, in the face destroyed. the last few years, the tag team seems to be into the cover of the title on the line. New champion, new champion. And he doesn't stay down for long. It's going to take more than that. Oh, he's such a tough target. Here he goes. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Able to... I'm not sure how much he has left. He's looking at it. What is keeping this competitor going? Not yet. What a stomp. Good grief. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to the resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater... They're gonna lock it in here! and I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Look at that power, Byron. Man, that is just careless intent. Comes in off the tag. This could be it. A lot of German suplex. 
That's called establishing dominance. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Here he goes. Nailed it. Nice. Shot it down. He's looking at it. Holy! A bad place to be for the challenger. The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. Axehander finds its target. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. The champ seems to have his number here tonight. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. He ain't messing around. Check this out. Man, oh man, look at that. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Tag Team Logan and Victor, the Brothers of Destruction. Now that's earning a well-fought victory. No shame in tapping out to that move. Wow, that looked incredibly painful. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match.